Hey everyone, I'm Jen Person, Developer Relations Engineer at Tenstorrent, and today we're going to build a simple program in TT Metallium that will set up a void compute kernel and place it on a given Tenstorrent device, core, and RISC-V processor. All the code we're going to run can be found in the TT Metal GitHub repo, so feel free to follow along. Now before setting up this example, be sure to clone the repo and set up your Tenstorrent hardware using the setup steps I've included in the description. In this example, there won't be anything for the kernel to compute. Instead, we're just focusing on general setup for a compute kernel. But before we run the program, let's take a look at some of the key points in the code. To set up the device, we instantiate a device object that will be used to interface with the designated accelerator. The core that we will be using for this example is represented by its coordinates 0, 0. Note that logical coordinates are used to designate the core or cores that will be used for the program. For pre-compilation setup, we first obtain the global command queue associated with the device in order to use the fast dispatch capabilities of the software. This mechanism enables commands to be run asynchronously between the host and device. Next, we create a program to be run on our accelerator. This object will encapsulate our data and kernel and then be dispatched through the command queue to execute on the device. To build a compute kernel, declare a void compute kernel to execute on the device. The kernel code for this example can be found in the file shown here. The compute config object parameter indicates that we are initializing a compute kernel. Since we're just demonstrating how to set up a void compute kernel, we do not need to supply any compile time arguments to our kernel function. Our kernel function, which is defined in the file I passed as a parameter to create kernel, contains just a single dprint statement to indicate that the compute kernel has executed. Note dprint math is required to print from the compute kernel. Our next step is to set up the runtime arguments for the program using set runtime args and then run it. This function allows us to specify which cores will receive the kernel arguments for the given program. And queue program will then send the program to the device for execution. The false parameter indicates that the operation is not blocking. We then wait for all programs dispatched by the command queue to be executed before closing the device. Finish will block all commands until the dispatch commands have been completed. Now that we've covered the basics of our code, let's build and execute the program by running these commands. Keep in mind that building the program examples can take maybe 10 minutes, so if you're following along, feel free to pause the video, grab a snack, and then meet me back here. This execution gives us the output that you see here. So let's review the general workflow for setting up a host program that runs basic compute kernel. First, specify the device and coordinates of the cores that will be utilized. Then, obtain the command queue and create the program that will be executed. Next, specify the compute kernel configuration and create it, and finally, set up the runtime arguments for the compute kernel and launch the program, then wait for the program to finish execution. Now that you know the basics of building a basic compute kernel on TT Metallium, check out our quick start guide in the documentation for a showcase of available tools for optimizing performance on Tenstorrent hardware. I've linked the guide along with the TT Metal repo in the video description. I also invite you to check out the Tenstorrent community forum where you can ask questions, share projects, and hear the latest Tenstorrent developer news. Thanks for watching.